I think we're all watching a sci-fi movie and it hasn't ended yet. Inside the Beecham, holiday lights are coming down. Staff getting ready for the end of a devastating year. It's all been taken away from everybody beyond their control. Uh, and then not only is that mentally hard to get through, but now we have a financial problem as well. I used to stand right here and just feel like the magic of, of the show and the energy of the audience. And it's just, it's been really hard to not have that. Since the pandemic began, they've been able to hold just two live shows, small ones. 200, 225, 250 shows just gone. It's been hard to see my crew struggle for sure. Um, it's been hard to not be able to provide work for these people that I care about. Unwilling to let the music stop for good, Kate Claude Felter got to work with other live music venues, pushing the Save Our Stages Act. I definitely wrote my fair share of emails. I went a little nuts on social media, sharing everything that I could. The president's signature on a bill, providing a $15 billion lifeline for thousands of small music, theater, and cultural venues like theirs, and a chance at more PPP funding. I think it, it, it puts the Band-Aid on the financial suffering that we're having. It's not going to solve our problem, but it's definitely going to help us get through hopefully the next, you know, six months. With help and funding possibly on the way, now hope is taking center stage. Everyone here ready to leave 2020's dark pages behind as 2021 now offers them a chance to keep the lights on and just maybe the music going. It's just a matter of when.